on today's edition of Before You Throw That Away. And it might just be the very only edition there ever is, but on today's edition. And we're going blind because the light and my glasses, my whole face is blue, so it's kind of cool, but you couldn't really see me. Okay, things to reuse or use again um, in a different way before you throw them away. First of all, oil bottles. I actually have an entire jar, this old pickle jar from like a family reunion or something. It's just a clear jar. I have an entire jar filled with these that's just pretty because they're, they're labels and whatever. Um, that's all that is. It's actually a book holder or a bookend on the side of my books. But other things you can do with this is reuse them. So the smaller ones, um, like the Vitality ones, and you know the labels, how the labels works. It's really the same oil, just different labels to so know what's safe to consume. So when you order another one, you can fill the same thing back up with the droppers. Um, you can, a lot of people like to take their empty oil bottles and put them just in a bowl of Epsom salt and let them sit there for a while. And the oil, the Epsom salt will soak up the oils and then you can use that for your bath salts. So those are really cool. This is a nice way if you want to give somebody a sample or, or a little bit of something or traveling, you know, instead of taking your full bottles, just put some drops in here. Okay. You can also make just about every single bottle into a roller ball. And I have a separate video on that. Okay. So you can make up your own combinations. My favorite one that I use every day is my sleepy time nighttime one. Um, and it has to have, for me, equal parts lavender and cedar wood. So I usually make it like 10 and 10. And then um, Roman chamomile is nice to put in there and the new Seedlings Calm. I don't put the Roman chamomile and the Calm in at the same time. I always do the lavender and cedar wood and then I do one or the other or neither of the Calm or the Roman chamomile. This, however, we have filled with the Young Living insect repellent. Um, the insect repellent, it doesn't have the, a spray or a mister, and we actually have one that we did put in a spray or mister, but a, a mister, a mister. Um, it's very handy to put the bug step on with a rollerball, okay? So you put around your ankles and your wrists, back and your neck, it's very easy to put on them. If you use things like um, the art system, before you throw this away, this is really cool actually when you use it, it pumps, and this one's gone, um, and then the right amount that you need comes out on top, but it took me a while to realize this, it actually unscrews. And so to make sure you get every last drop, you can reach it that way. Oops. Okay, so along those same lines, every last drop, anything that comes in tubes, make sure you cut the ends off because we've actually been using this one there's still a lot in there that doesn't that when you're squirting and usually when it gets low on squirting then instead of just flipping the cap I take the whole thing off and squirt but then it reaches a point where you can't squirt anymore but there's still stuff in there and then we can go like this so when we get like this in the summer we'll grab a butter knife and then we like frost our arms I've frosted my kids faces carefully um, same thing with the toothpaste there's usually some left in there, you cut off the end, and then you can actually just dip your toothbrush in there. Next up, I haven't actually used this for anything else, but I've been seeing a lot of people share the ideas. Okay, this is the YL Vitality Drops with the electrolytes. First of all, amazing. Get rid of things like Gatorade and Powerade out of your life if you want the electrolytes. This has been great. Um, Two of us in the house really like the grapefruit bergamot, that's me and Belle, and then Jason and Ethan really like the lavender lemonade ones. Little boys are kind of still getting used to them, so they haven't picked a favorite yet. But what some people are using these for is like traveling, not necessarily, like they wash them out and then they don't use it for the same thing, but they, um, they're putting shampoo in there or lotion in there, and then you don't have to carry your big bottles. Um, other somebody else said for picnicking, Put like ketchup in there and mayonnaise, you know, so you don't have to take the whole thing. That was kind of clever. Okay, two more. The Thieves uh, Laundry Detergent. This stuff lasts us forever. It's a tiny bottle. We are a family of six. We do two to three loads of laundry a day. Um, just a side note, when you're using this, 
you only need half a capful. If you have a high efficiency washing machine, which we just got not that long ago, it decreases it by that. So you only use a fourth. So we go through even less of this and that's very exciting to me. Not only to have not no yuck, but so concentrated it lasts a long time. Now, some people will actually take this and separate it into three bottles of cleaner by adding Thieves Household, Thieves Household Cleaner and some oils, I think. Um, I like this just the way it is. I don't mess with it. My kids are able to measure it out. It's, it's great. A lot of people do that. This one I'm fine with. But if, when you think it's all gone, kind of like the toothpaste and stuff, there's usually some in there. When you think it's all gone, turn it upside down and just leave it you know, for a while, you will get like at least another capful, which is two to four more loads. Um, and you might be able to flip it upside down again and get even more. Okay, do that a couple times and then you'll make sure it all runs out because there's still more left in there. So let gravity do some work before you throw it away. Uh, side note for that, I do um, split my thieves dishwashing detergent and two two and that is for us we aren't um hand washing big sink fulls or we're not the sink filler wash everything um we usually wash one or two dishes at a time because most of it goes in the dishwasher and so if we're just washing pots and pans we'll put a drop in the pots pot or pan and wash that so for us to be using a full drop on that that's really wasteful and we would go through it way faster than we need to, excuse me. So I um, I do dilute this I'll, when, I, when I get another bottle, which I have several saved now, but I just split it in half. You can add a, a, a cap full of these household cleaner if you wish, or just, it's fine. Um, and then I fill the rest with water and I'm just gonna make sure it makes it up. After I do that, after I've, um, separated I put X on the bottom to know that that one is diluted so this one I do you do not have to dilute it um, you just you don't need very much when you use it uh, but that's one thing that I do separate okay cool some examples of before you throw it away look at it. it's still filling up there some crazy cool ideas for that one open your tubes frost your children um, different things to do with oil bottles and stuff like this. Caps unscrew. So fun. Okay, enjoy.